Yeah, Smart War Games here. Let's check out the newest expansion pack for Unity of Command 2. Yeah, Desert Rats. Uh, thanks for the Ryu copy. We already checked out Unity of Command and... Yeah, let's see what this new expansion pack has to offer content wise and we will do some gameplay. As you might tell by the name, it is focusing on the African theater. Yeah, first content. Comes with a quite extensive list of scenarios. What is that? 10, 15, uh, something 20. Yeah, over 20 scenarios roughly counted. Definitely enough to keep you occupied. But more important. Yeah, there is also a new campaign. There's that rats. Yeah, I'm not really proficient in uh, your C2. But it is somewhat pants general style with some ex but expanded supply mechanics. Uh, let's play here hard and nah, normal here. Uh, journalist mode. Nah, true. Good. It is winter 1940. Yeah, I already checked it out. Good. Yeah. Uh, the campaign mode offers you some. Wait, what? The by accident, skip that because I was occupied with something else. Okay, yeah, we are back. Good. We have 150 prestige. Yeah, that is something you can. That is basically your currency you can accumulate. And then, ah, oh, damn it! What I'm pressing here. And then acquire some support cards, which you then can, yeah, supply to your missions operations. Let's see what we have here. Okay, that card is free, yeah, so definitely will take that. Find the prestige nail bombardment theater asset. Further transports for supply. 
It's always good, especially in Africa. Now let's get that naval bombardment. I mean, let's give me everything uh, for this showcase. We will conduct some gameplay here. We should have enough prestige to acquire that. Good. Let's see. Uh, here you can also improve for prestige um, by upgrades in different aspects of your operational warfare. Which of course then translates to tactical advantages. This rear guard and suppressor fire is quite helpful tactical actions. But yeah, that would basically be it. Okay. Motorization option. Yeah, I think that sounds here good. Operations. Good. We are dry. Our cards. Strategic map. Uh, you can redo it if you're not happy with the choices. And we can go to the theater map. Good, we have two operations to choose from. And we might do... Oh, 70 turns. That's already late for me. Don't have that much time. Be smaller if it would be possible. And yeah, so it is not only Africa, yeah, it is also the Mediterranean. I guess that is somewhat yeah, our operational value. You see also here Greece. Ah, that is a locked scenario. Okay, so we need to pick that one. Only we have no access to that. Good, okay. I'm not sure if I can play the entire thing, but I will definitely show you some turns. So you will gain an idea of this game. Good, we have three objectives and some bonus objectives. Yeah, those three are crucial, all giving us 50 prestige. And yeah, there's some further bonus objectives. Something like this, I really like what they do here. Why other war games, uh, those guys uh, sticking to this traditional formula, are not doing something like this? Yeah. We're talking often about time limits or turn limits. I really like how those games do it, yeah. Or oh, as Panzer Corps, also use this idea, some other games as well. Where the game is not ending after three turns, four turns, or whatever, and you need always to push, push, push. But yeah, some players that, that, that are more proficient in their offensive or defensive operations might even achieve further objectives. And something like this, if there would be. I mean, sure, in combat mission we have this major victory and whatever, but often this, there's still those scenarios that boil down to if you capture this in one in, in, in the remaining three minutes, you win. If you don't capture it, you win, you lose. Yeah, you you get the idea. I think that is a good system. To cover all References. Okay. Yeah. Good. Let's check the situation.
is enemy supply. Yeah, not that easy to supply this area. Our supply is not looking that good. Only two supply sources and off map. Definitely need to endanger that enemy supply here. Is it our? Oh, that is ours. Yeah, let's add further trucks. I think the supply situation is not that good. So we're even out of supply here. Against the Italians. Yeah, I mean, we are holding here basically, but we want to recapture, is it correct? So, objectives. offensive Let's add for the trucks That should somewhat improve the supply situation. Uh, supplemented a further truck to both supply depots.
That's, that's quite a problem, you know. This position should be taken. Try that out. A direct attack will net us heavy losses. Doesn't look too easy here. Yeah? We definitely can approach this position here and bring up reinforcements. This one are the Italians on the offensive. That would be information. Range. These guys belong to second core. They move their HQ. Where is it currently situated? Here. No, I can't do that. So we'll come back in, but I guess the river is a problem. And they're also out of supply in those woods. They were already out of supply here. It's mountains. Yeah, those core engineers. Do I want to bring them north? Or do I want to reinforce? Those guys belong to the first. First colony situated here. Let's check what you want to And do button, please. First, what I situated here. I'm not sure if I want to apply those guys in the north. Might rather try. I mean, those guys are sitting in the mountains. And we might cross here. Might not engage yet. Two heavy losses. We need to watch out, uh, those Italian units. Let's see what we have here. That's naval bombardment. Check that out.
Yeah, that might slightly improve the situation, but not beyond the river. And this unit is also out of supply currently. Not out of supply, but it might become soon. Yeah, we can attribute a further truck here. Because those guys will regain supply. Accordingly, I don't see even that main judging by those units. The forces we have currently on the map. It looks very challenging. I don't see anywhere a major. I uh, can conduct a major offensive operation. Those Italians are already quite weakened here. But still. Big heavy losses. Yeah, we could try to suppress them as a faint attack. So capture that ground here, but this will leave open our the way to the HQ. But first we need to eliminate that unit or force it to retreat. We have RD support, we might conduct suppressive fire on them. Didn't I unlock this? Yeah, suppressive fire, here it is. Yeah, that we can do. Exactly, it is not impacting on our entrenchment, it is basically firing our attached RT. That was 105ers, Schneiders, at those guys, and let's see how that works out. Might suppress both units. Okay, both are suppressed. And yeah, even without supply, but we need to seize the chance and take over here. Good. Upgrade a second. Okay, what do we have here? Yeah, give me RT. Oh, okay, what? What I need to attack using its artillery only. But isn't that what I already own? Destroy a bridge, okay. Yeah. Those guys. Ah, that was second here, okay. But I think that feature we already own that, right? Basically, what we bought with prestige, suppressive fire for our entire operations. It was not really much of a gain. Okay, but this released a lot of units here. Are those guys still uh, able to move? Push forward and capture this yeah, island, or uh, not island, but this peninsula here. Before they seize that. Yeah. That improve the supply situation. Yeah. Okay. This one else was attached RT. Those guys have. Yeah, I might put them on rear guard. If they're engaged, they should retreat. I don't know. I don't like that position. But if the Italians want to push, we might rear guard. Uh, might. That is also this new. Yeah, ability we unlocked. Which I really like that is sometimes missing in those games. Some sort of delaying action or...
Let's uh, zoom or something. It's quite some time since I played this game. Isn't there some zoom button? The uh, mouse wheel is not working. It's like a 3D game. There should be no problem here. Yeah? Nice controls. Some other. Zoom in, you and I. Wait, wait, that is something. Okay. I said not on the mouse wheel. Okay. Ah, okay, that's control, you can also do it, yeah. Need to hold control. Good, we already gained here, uh, that was here, some optional objective. Yeah, now it's way better. I'm also a bit fast. Change that as well. Scroll, edge scrolling a bit too fast, but okay. Yeah, that is too much. But you can also pan, uh, yeah, okay. Everything is fine, yeah. Panning is, of course, a function, and then it is perfect. Good. Way better. Good, those guys will reinforce here first core. Second core is making small progress. Okay, those guys also have Arti. Currently, yeah, we might do a suppressive fire. However, we have only three available of them for this unit. But we need to push towards the objectives. So I guess suppressive fire is in. Let's do it. Let's press two Italian units. I mean, if you don't conduct an attack afterwards, they might regain. So not sure if I want to use that right now. This seems to be a a uh, scenario that is probably... I mean, I played already Unity of Command 1. Unity of Command was always a game where you really need to consider your moves. Yeah? This, I mean, you can scale the difficulty, as you see, there's a lot of difficulty options. But um, a couple of wrong moves might put you into a bad position and make it very hard. And even a bad attack might give you big troubles. And I guess the expansion packs are even aimed towards more experienced players so when in doubt and you have 17 turns yeah consider that i mean 17 turns and you see that that is a map that is a map so you have time yeah? it's not something like uh, i don't know wipe the map in four turns that was probably already too much here but like those guys are now in the open and there are some tankettes of the Ninth Armata. Uh, if they drive through the woods, I don't know, they might do some harm here towards. I hope not. Uh, let's check the rear of the map. And yeah, north one here. Currently, I don't see that much to gain there. We could, of course, do some RT. Somebody equip this RT. I mean, a faint attack might be possible, perhaps from the mountains, in order to cause suppression on the remaining elements. And then try push in at least at, this, uh, at the location of Cors, Corsi, however you pronounce it. I mean, the situation won't get any better soon here.
I will like, try out that faint attack. I want to see how that works. One suppression, yeah, that's not enough. And doesn't remove entrenchment, so that's basically... I could do two faint attacks. That might be enough to suppress them, and then see how... Yeah, that's... But you always need to consider that this is basically, you can't, can't spend that infinite. Uh, you see that number here. But we need to make some progress here. Good, improved, but not still not very impressive. Okay, 1-1. One, one. Is that the best? What is the problem here? 50% retreat chance. Um, for the enemy, I guess. I mean, we might take that. If we can capture that position, that would be, of course, good news. And we made it. Nice, good. Uh, why is he... Oh, okay, we gained more transports. Yeah, that is... I'll take that. Yeah. I guess Southland currently has some... I don't know. Those guys getting supplied from... Are they getting supplied from North? I guess. See how that improves if we drive that up. We need to add that on the card. No, I already did that. We have one truck available. Up here as well. Those guys are also out of supply here. Good. I really like that this game. Um, this game has makes it somewhat different, and I must say it is very pleasant. Yeah, I mean, I play, I mean we played all war games in existence, yeah? and especially some of those huge scale operational war games yeah you play on those huge maps and sure you of course as achievement you can also value yourself but what i like here is that yeah we destroyed a unit um and then we took that location there and you get some menu popping up yeah congrats you made it here pick some a reward and whatever. Sure, there is some modern game mechanics, uh, perhaps not, not sometimes fitting, but I think it's here very pleasant. It feels like you're making progress, you're making, you have some, um, yeah, in scenario goals you're achieving, and not something like capture in 100 turns those objectives and. Then you play 100 turns and the game is basically nothing is, you know what I mean, there's no no screen or whatever informing you about your progress. And then after 100 turns, yeah, congrats, you capture those objectives, nice. Until next time. So I must say that those modern game mechanics here apply pretty well. Which then perhaps also those bigger scenarios make them... At least for me right now. A bigger pleasure to play. Good. So we found some 
some gains here that is good news, yeah. But that is unity of command, yeah. In the beginning you look and think, Jimmy, there is absolutely no gain to make. And then you find those... It is somewhat puzzly, but I mean a lot of war games, Operation War games are very puzzly. But in a pleasant way, and that was also basically what made you, um, Unity of Command 1 such a um, success. It is a very accessible war game, but depending on the difficulty, mm, hard to master. Yeah? You need to not to know a million of rules or whatever. I mean, sure, with those uh, special abilities and whatever, but everything is explained with a tooltip. And this undo button is of course a big help. You might f and supply mechanics of course were expanded. But it was also a thing in the first game. I think the truck mechanic was not... I, I can't remember where the truck's in the first. Nevertheless, it is everything you can figure it out and then... And very, inf very good feedback yeah, with those combat chances. I mean, there's games that rather focus on this, um, not giving you those odds, as in reality your commanders couldn't tell that. Art that attack has 58% or to win or whatever, uh, to, to succeed. But it's a, somewhat different from all those other Panzer General or, or yeah, similar games, so I think it holds somewhat a unique position. Good. Is there anything else I want to do? Yeah. No, I think so. We were considering to put RT suppression on those guys here. They can only have four unsuppressed yeah, blips plus attachments. They also have RT attachment. Yeah, the this tactical RT symbol. However, suppressing without doing anything, I consider rather not that helpful, especially because we have limited RT capability here. Yeah, here we might, but I don't think that the Italians will push that. We might consider emergency supply. I don't see that really necessary. Um, this unit, on the other hand, Maybe it should be supplied next turn, because especially we expanded our truck network here by two. And the Italians seem to be rather exhausted here. I mean, that unit might be even... But I can't reach it. There's also Italians sitting in the mountains. Yeah, and they are at full strength. Venezia. This unit here is on the other hand completely exhausted or suppressed. Oh, no, I think suppression is um, different. Whatever, I, currently we have no get, no ability to push here. But is there anything else on the map? Hmm. Yeah, naval bombardment. Right now, I don't think so. I might keep that for something important. I think we are done here. Yeah, nice, some weather change here. Yeah, the Italians retreated from some positions. Okay, so we might... And yeah, some units got resupplied. Those units are out of supply, so... Let's quickly check supply situation.
Okay, we could advance further up, but might open up our supply source. That is unacceptable. To the north, currently, I don't see that much of. Yeah, but here is, of course, currently open. I need to resupply here my trucks. Perhaps uh, we'll need a lot of trucks here and there. Uh, free is maximum, okay. They destroyed the bridge. We can repair it for better supply. Would help. The other bridge also destroyed? I guess so. Uh, looks looks not good. Good, those guys might fix those bridges. They belong all to the first, or the rear guys here also belong to the first, can fix those bridges. While we push before the Italians reorganize. Supply situation here in the south, very bad, what the heck. Yeah, supply disruption was reported. We need to proceed. Could endanger Italian supply, but that is fuck of war here. Pretty sure they didn't leave that open. Well, that was quite a push here, but... And I'm running out of forces. This unit might be endangered of getting cut off. Reinforcements are on the way, but... I might deploy those guys into the woods. Or retreat, yeah, this might fix some problems here. This unit is bind by those guys. And the first will focus here, the second will focus on this area. And the first will also conduct some bridge repairs for better supply. But they will not move very far because of those destroyed bridges here. One bridge was captured intact. Do we want to push the supply depot? I mean, that might disrupt supply here severely. I mean, they have one here, but if you can cut that off, they have currently two trucks assigned to that. If we are close to it, it might disrupt supply for them, and we can check enemy supply. That is already quite bad here. I mean, the Italians are suffering from supply, it's not only us. I think we are not informed. Ah, we are informed about you, it's out of supply. So I might take that danger. Sure, that unit is here in the vicinity, but they are not that strong. Let's go. Okay, yeah, but they're defending that supply depot, but nevertheless, this definitely shouldn't help. Yeah, you see, they might end up here out of supply with some units. Because should they have a supply depot here, next turn they might reroute some trucks.
Is there a bridge problem here somewhere? No. So I wonder that those humans are out of supply. Also perhaps the weather. Yeah, it is simply very cold. Freezing or whatever, snowing. But I think that looks currently to be a solution. Um, we might rebase. Now currently, it's a need. Somebody out of range of the HQ. Check it out. Two of six command. Yeah, that is something else. But it would show me if there's a... Yeah, those guys are definitely out of range uh, but currently it's somewhat dangerous to redeploy the HQ I mean we could do it here but this will I think for one turn the HQ will become completely inoperational which is not that bad as most of the second core is not engaged anyways but those guys first second second first first third Yeah, we could deploy second here. I mean, those guys are out of range anyways. <clears throat> Do that. Would, but uh, usually because of the zone of control you can't make it. Next time this will be us occupied. Yeah, I think the supply situation for the Italian should become a problem soon. Not only for us. I might let that soak in. They currently have, especially those units here. I don't know how the weather will change, <clears throat> but this unit here is out of supply completely. Uh, this entire area here is out of supply. And uh, soon, uh, soon, soon should feel those effects and we should soon notice that. I think that's it for this turn. Let's see if we can bring in units or something. I don't think so. Wait, did I spend all my CPs on pressing buttons or what? By accident. For the second. Oh. We have no reserves here with the first. Second has no reserves. Third has. Oh, third has RT. Yeah, that is good information. Arty is exactly what I need. Very in demand here. Question is, what which unit will receive Arty? Those guys here. Sooner or later, I need to flush out those Italians here out of the mountains. Those guys in the south. This unit will become. We can remove them sooner or later. We might even remove them very soon. Yeah, where's the force pool? Good, are they attached? Mm. 
but not ready yet. Got 105ers supplemented, but grayed out. I guess that indicates that they're currently not. Uh, we need to wait one turn probably for them to arrive. Oh, is Adi always grey? No. It means simply that they're inactive. Yeah, I think that's it for this turn. Bring up third, but uh, that's not required. They're so in command range. Oh, okay. Deploy now. Yeah, that was taking mm, it. Because we need to move those guys out. So, those guys belong to also the third. That is good. We might push them into the south. And then can those those guys can push into this open space. And we can start to surround this unit and make progress here next turn. go on an offensive towards Pogradek. I need to fix that here, that unit is currently endangered. But unlikely that the Italians would push something through those through this area here. That here should be fine. Only I don't have any plans to push on that here. I'm happy if we can bind and prevent them from Attacking our flank. Yeah, there's enough units. The first will be basically on flank duty. There's enough units here to hold off anything that the Italians might bring. And that's it. Yeah, good. So the Italians are now finally suffering here from severe supply problems. And yeah, our supply situation seems to improve. Which means we can, us in the south, um, make contact with the enemy on and move forward. Yeah. HQ is open out. Approach it, yeah, capture the position here. Can even fire one to one, but no, I don't think so. those guys have RT. We switch them out. Not yet. It might be time to move the HQ. Here somewhere.
chance here. But... Yeah, we will use RT, definitely. Uh, those guys, yeah, Cory Auto Supply. We need to wait for them to regain, but I need to make room here. Got core in order to deploy them properly. For this, I need to get rid of those guys. Yeah, and they're currently out of supply, so let's push that attack. Yeah, breached. You're not allowed to push. Okay, it doesn't matter, then we can push here. And even conduct further attack. Those guys are out of supply. Those guys bring a re recon group, which is adding some attack and defense. What is the special? Ah, interesting, okay. Yeah, that is a good frontline unit. Takes control of surrounding hexes and gains is never moving in. What? Never enters unknown zone of control. Enable recon and force. Okay, seems interesting, I guess that is a good frontline unit. Yeah, nice. Good, then, uh, do I want to develop the third core and link up with the second, probably engage those guys next turn that are sitting here out of supply in the mountains, because that will be rather a bottleneck here. I can't even reach any positions here. Only the mountains. Yeah, so we need to wait, it seems. But we might continue pushing those guys. Retreat 90%. Might take some casualties, but that is acceptable. And proceed. But those guys can. Yeah, that is surprising. That is good. They're not the out of supply guys, but that is very good. Okay, so second can come up, but there is second is rather a small unit. I see two unit subunits here. Only
I mean, taking out that supply depot might be... Nice. Ah, okay. Naval bombardment is limited to certain locations at the shore. Makes sense. Yeah, that is not really that crucial now. We should capture Zavanda, which is a supply center. Would be... Is that one? Ah, no, I think that gives me... Uh, it gives me supplies, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we might... Let's see, what is the effect of naval bombardment? Minus one. Okay. Perhaps if I bring up for the units, Connie, that weak unit. I mean, one to one is not too bad. They have some modifier. Veterans here, what is it? Plus one. And those guys are out of supply. Because it will take a lot of time here to come through those mountains. And we can use three times naval bombardment. Let's check it out. Is that a suppression or is that a kill? Oh, okay. <laughs> that was quite a kill, yeah. Good, and those guys are now absolutely wasted, so let's push them away. And this Greek infantry unit can now advance towards Savanda, that might also put pressure on the Italians to reroute forces. Okay. Ah, we can deploy a unit. Which is probably second core. Oh, Jimmy, no, no crash. Okay, what happened now? It doesn't sound it good. Okay, but I think the game is out of saving. Okay, uh, but... Yeah, okay, um, this, what is it, saving every beginning of the turn. Good, yeah, but it gives you an idea of the game, it is quite um, exciting. Pushing those units over the map. Yeah, and it's not only Africa, but also I think that is concerning the Mediterranean theater, or surrounding the mat. So check it out. And see you in the next episode, yeah? Good hunting.